Hi, I'm Dr. Mukesh Gupta from Lenest, Malad, Mumbai. Anger management, recovery phase. Well, today we're going to discuss how we recover ourselves and bounce back to a better self after the anger. So, in earlier videos, I have explained to you how we can divide the anger into three important phases. One is the preparatory phase or the pre phase or pre anger phase. Second, is the anger phase which we subdivide into trigger reaction and the cascade of responses leading to fight and third phase which is the recovery phase or the post anger phase more like a winding down or calming down phase now we're going to discuss how we are going to overcome and manage this phase because once you have gone through the anger after the anger gets over we go through a difficult phase a difficult phase of guilt a difficult phase of you know sometimes feeling depressed about how we have behaved sometimes we feel uh, short change that no this was not what should have happened with us and so on and so forth how do we manage this phase and how do we bounce back this is what we're going to discuss now but before we go ahead let us understand the physiology of anger why what happens when we are angry so the common questions are why did this happen i mean I only remember what I feel bad about. I don't remember what what happened and you know the partner always says ki you said this you said that. No, I don't even remember what you said. Third thing is that I want to make it up but I feel bad. For sometimes we feel that we were right and we don't want to you know kind of put ourselves down and lose our self respect and self esteem and why should I say sorry? Well, last but not the least is we want to be better self. how do i make myself better so that i don't keep on landing up with this anger phase again and again and this is how we going to tackle the recovery phase let's understand when a person gets angry more often than not as i have explained in the pre anger phase video is that we have a various plethora of our own issues like the guilt or our feeling of being short changed or our poor self esteem sometimes it is just we want to feel right about what we are doing and we use anger as a tool to show somebody down whenever we have this feeling of emotion of anger it originates in the brain in an area of called as amygdala which gives a quick response and quickly gives that response of releasing you know a catecholamines or adrenaline and noradrenaline normally when a person rationally thinks his cortex more precisely the prefrontal cortex evaluates and does the judgment whether this is the right thing to do or right thing to say or right way to behave and then we do that particular thing but when our emotion is dominating us and overpowering our whole system it doesn't have a chance to go to the cortex the message to go to the cortex and cortex decides okay don't do this don't behave that and then we restrict ourselves it doesn't happen so our brain is primarily not wired to respond in a smart way when we are angry okay in short we need to learn methods to untrain and train meaning untrain our mind which is used to behaving abnormally or randomly in anger versus train our mind to respond in a responsible and a correct way even at the peak of anger now this is the trick that we need to learn now from this the next thing comes to our mind is that when we are angry why is it that we are not able to control ourselves well the hormones push us and this temporary seduction of feeling high in power actually helps us to temporarily boost our self esteem and we feel powerful and nice and we feel in control and we feel that okay i'm going to give it back and this temporary phase remember this is a temporary phase it is not actually going to resolve the problem the primary problem between whatever is the issues between you and your partner or anybody else with whom you are getting angry it is just a temporary phase where you feel high in power and you are able to you know control the situation because you want to just control the situation at that time you don't want to resolve the problem in anger you are not resolving the problem but you are just controlling the situation the next important thing is that this sudden surge of these hormones and this state of high that you are in takes a little time to come down and hence in the recovery phase of anger it takes a little time and during this time when it is coming down and when still the hormones are high and your state of mind is jittery if somebody stimulates you and triggers you again you may get angry again and that is the reason some people are 
that person is always bitter that person is always angry because that person has never got a chance to calm down this calming down may just take few minutes for some but most it takes hours and days and months and they are not able to overcome their suppressed angers or suppressed feeling and that is where the problem starts coming in well let's look at it this way that what are these phases that you go through so initially you have this phase of you know you can say denial guilt or poor self esteem that led to anger phase and this anger phase is actually a phase where you are just responding with a temporary cover up and then after that anger phase goes away the next logical phase is that either you feel responsible for your behavior and you start working towards that and improve yourself or you become indifferent and you don't care anymore or you may feel the need to resolve it and accept the situation or lastly it may just lead you to feel depressed and that's something we don't want to do so we need to work on this phase and build up our mind to overcome it now the most common response immediately after anger is bargain okay what is this bargain meaning once you have finished your anger phase then you start analyzing that no i was correct and he was wrong or she was wrong and who is correct and you start bargaining and everything and you start analyzing the situation when you analyze the situation remember only one important thing when you analyze the situation you are looking at justification for your behavior when somebody else is looking at your behavior they are not looking at justification they are looking at the consequences of your behavior <laughs> so a judge sitting in the court is not going to think why you got angry he is only going to think that what all problems you have created because of your anger so they are only going to look at the consequences of your anger forget about a judge even our loved ones land up facing the music of your irrational behavior the next thing is why i don't remember what i said my partner is lying they say that i said this i did this but i don't think i did this they just lying well this is another problem with anger what happens is that because you're in a state of high we miss out on the fine details of what we did or what had happened and what was the chronology of event we only remember the highlights or the headlines from our perspective and we forget what we actually did to the other and what the other person is feeling and that brings us to a very important concept and that is empathy when you're in the recovery phase start thinking what the other person has gone through and what the other person is thinking and this will help you to quickly get over in your recovery phase well it can push you to guilt and depression but then you should know that first we need to calm down understanding the other person's perspective and then we need to build up our own self and talk to that person talk to that person meaning most of the times people say i don't want to say sorry it's not my mistake well this is a trick here if you want to overcome this phase of recovery in a quicker way and a better way remember saying a sorry is not meaning that you are wrong and the other person is right saying a sorry is to say that i am sorry that this happened because this is not worthy enough for us to waste our time efforts and energy and spoil our relationship in other words i value our relationship more than my beliefs of these small small things and that's what will help you to recover faster so in simple words if you want to recover from this particular thing there are only two techniques one is relaxation technique and second is a cognitive control technique now when you start using the control technique you're training your mind to think and judge what you behave and how you behave in anger so that you don't do this again and again and this helps you to improve that but the key here is the first option that i talked about the relaxation technique it actually reduces your amygdala's arousal level and brings you down into a calmer phase so that you're not bitter and you're not jittery and you don't react again and again lots of things can be done on relaxation technique which will help you to do self analysis improve on your personality improve on your ability to understand what is the situation by your cortex and not by your emotional response sometimes you say that my heart felt that but my brain is different right so your heart felt that when you say that is actually a quick response without using your brain we need to use your little rational thinking brain to analyze and evaluate your responses and if you start learning these techniques 
it will go in a long way to resolve that. So with this, I would like to finish the discussion with only one thing that feeling of guilt or depression is not going to make you come out of this recovery phase. It is only your feeling of this pure decision and insight that I want to improve the situation and I want to work towards positive thing. And you should do that once your hormones are calmed down. You cannot start it. When you're angry and immediately if you start justifying and arguing, you will not be able to resolve it. So give yourself a little time, cool down and then go back and resolve the problem. And that will take you back not only in recovering from your anger phase, but also in making you a better human being. Thank you very much.